I've been painting since I was four years old because my mom's an artist and since I was very little I, she was always having me in her studio and I was always doing art. Um, so when I came to Canada I came and studied art. Uh, soon after though I really really wanted to sing and I started studying opera. So it was amazing, so therapeutic to just be able to put everything I was feeling and everything that I wanted to sing, basically portraying it and putting it on a canvas. And I, every painting is almost like a snapshot of what was happening during that time or how I was feeling. Um, if I was upset or if I was depressed, it, it's there. Um, if I was feeling more optimistic or if I wanted to feel more optimistic then I could also portray that on the painting and show that I wanted to be positive, that I want to sing with all these colors, that I want to you know, sing with all this texture and I want to be as loud as some of my paintings are. I'm starting to be able to put both art forms together and I'm starting to be able to um, really combine them and marry them. Uh, as most of the paintings sometimes are portraits of music, now I'm able to organize concerts and maybe participate in some of them where the painting will be part of a recital, will be in, in conversation with the performers. I feel it's almost like the film like Water for Chocolate where she cooks putting her feelings in there while I sing and I put my feelings into the painting and I'll just like be singing and painting and watching the temperature so it's not toxic and then go back to okay well now I can go back and relax and paint. So right now what I'm doing is I'm checking my temperatures for the wax. Um, you want to keep it um, between 180 and 200 or else it's toxic which is why I have my trusty mask um, in case it gets too hot. And what I do is I have my hot plate and I melt it and then I can put in some oil. I use oil, some people use pigment, but I use oil because it's cheaper and then I can also do other things with the oil later. In here I've also put in some Damar, Damar resin, um, linseed oil so that it hardens very well. And I love getting drips, a lot of my work has drips. I can remove them um, if I'm unhappy with the results. Let's see, I like how that turned out. And then what I'll go ahead and do, um, well, probably I'll remove this one. I don't want to keep this. Um, and then I can always like put in good new white wax in here and like repair the damage. Um, and then I have my heat gun, and then with a the heat gun, we're sort of re-sealing. So I sort of re-melted back onto my support, and that's how I paint with wax. This is just something that I'm working on right now. It's absolutely not finished yet, but as you can see now, I'm getting really nice texture um, because I keep on layering the wax. On top of itself and then every now and again I'll add more paint um, some oil and then I'll go again with a heat gun and reseal it so all of these layers of wax are getting sealed um, and it's beautiful to work with wax is a little bit transparent so you can also see in, in through the layers um, I'm really happy working with wax lately I think I'll stick with it for a while <laughs> Wait, too light Seeds. Um, this might be a good match and the reason why I like to fix with my fingers is because I like to um, really put like embed the color into the wax and almost like warm it with my fingers. And this is mainly when I'm repairing. We have a wonderful app available on the website 
and it's amazing to use. It allows you to see all of the artwork and put it on a wall, on a virtual wall, so you can see it. You should also check that out.